Markets functioning properly. I mean, poised for the fourth straight day of, of gains here. It does seem like, at least from the GameStop mania, uh, that the systemic risk or worries about it um, maybe have quelled. Certainly, it seems like things have calmed down a bit from where uh, we were uh, a short time ago, and which I think is a good thing, and, and hopefully a refocusing on on the fundamentals, whether it's the uh, virus trends, the vaccine distribution, of course, the economic reopening uh, are things that are more relevant in our view as you think about intermediate to longer term investment priorities and less about uh, some of the uh, bit of craziness, frankly, that was uh, going on in markets uh, just a short time ago. And I think it also seems like a, a bulk of the deleveraging that you worry about when you go through periods of volatility like that has occurred already. So I think that's why we've seen markets calm down a bit. Yeah, Lee, I'll put the same question to you. I mean, there's been a lot of debate, especially given the detachment we saw with some of those names shooting higher in the last couple of weeks. A lot of debate about just how much fundamentals matter to this market right now, especially given the fact that you do continue to have all this liquidity swashing around from uh, the Fed and, and some of those central bank policies. How do you see it? Yeah, so I absolutely think that fundamentals matter. And candidly, they always matter over the long term. You know, we can have these brief dalliances with just absolute craziness. And uh, the fact that a week ago uh, we were seeing these uh, names shoot higher and higher, but, you know, it hadn't been that long that uh, we've gone from 380 bucks a share or 400 a share down to 80 or $90 a share. But in the long term, yeah, uh, fundamentals matter. Yeah. So, Joe, does the narrative shift for the market here now? I mean, we've had some strong economic data Obviously, looking ahead to jobs Friday, tomorrow, the vaccine rollout continues to gain momentum here. We're seeing some of those case numbers where the virus is concerned. Uh, some of those key metrics come down, continue to come down as well. Uh, plus, the ongoing stimulus talks. Are, are those the dominant themes moving forward, or is there something else to keep an eye on? And how does it drive the investment thesis for you? Certainly, the, those are the relevant issues that, uh, Morgan, you, you touched on. I think those are the things that are appropriate level of focus in terms of the near term. Uh, market dynamic and uh, earnings that are coming in for the fourth quarter are better than expected. We may end up being flattish uh, overall for the S&P 500 in the fourth quarter, which is a, a good sign, as you referenced. Some of the economic data that we've seen recently have shown some encouragement. Um, so I, I think that's the better level of focus. And as one thinks about the longer term, if, if we're at the early stages of a, of a long economic expansion, uh, I think that's why equity markets have been as resilient as they've been over the course of the last uh, number number of months. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.